Real life, real stories, life lessons with Esther Joseph. Guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope all is well. Hope all is well. Hope you're blessed. Hope you're doing well. Um, just a quick one. Um, let me, let's just quickly go into prayer and welcome the Holy Spirit. Father God, we thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you the glory. We give you the adoration. We bless your holy name. Father, we thank you for who you are. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for you being the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, Lord Jesus. We thank you for your wonderful works. We thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit. Precious Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Holy Spirit, we love you. We need you. Lord, come and have your way through the precious Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, have your way. Have your way with us, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Holy Spirit. We welcome you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, Holy Spirit, have your way. In Jesus' name we pray. I pray for everybody under the sound of my voice. I pray for those that will come across this video. I pray for more helpers of the kingdom, Lord God. I pray for people to comment in a comment um, description box, Lord God, for um, your word says where um, two or three shall cover anything that you ask in my name. And you talk about the power of agreement. So I pray, Lord God, that people will start leaving comments so we can download heaven on earth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Father, I pray that this channel is only you, is only led by the Holy Spirit, not by Esther. I pray for your wonderful works to come into the manifestation on this earth. Holy Spirit, you, um, Lord, that you spoke and the world became. Let the same Spirit of living God, let us seek you for your will to be done on this earth. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. As it was then, so shall it be now. Holy Spirit, have your way, amen. Hi guys, so, um, it's um, Wednesday, the 19th of May, 2021. Um, guys, I was sleeping and I saw, I saw in in my dream, I saw in my sleep, because some people don't understand what us people are doing. Yeah, so those that think sleep, I'll say sleep. Those that understand visions and um, dreams, I'm talking also to those. But those that they just knew, they don't understand what, what, the Holy Spirit, how big he is and what he does, then I'll, I'll use the word in my sleep. But those that understand the things of God, I'm using dream or vision. All right. Praise God. Hallelujah. Um, and let's be on one accord, please. Um, so, guys, um, I saw this um, sign with a serpent. Yeah. And I, in, in my spirit, I jumped up because I just thought, what? Then um, I saw this. And immediately as I saw it, I heard, if my people seek, if my people seek my face, I will download from heaven. Let me say it again. I saw this sign. After I saw the sign, I heard the spirit of the Lord say to me, if my people seek my face, I will download from heaven. So those that are he sayers, and they don't know what's going on or what these we us um servants of God do, prophets of God or prophetess. Guys, the Bible also says, if my people humble themselves and walk away from their wicked ways and pray, God will hear us. Yeah. So anything that He's downloading to me, He can also do it for you. If you turn away from this wicked world. He will start downloading and having a communication with you the same way. God is not a God that, oh, I'm only going to communicate with Esther. No, he wants to do marvelous things in everybody. Yeah. But the first thing we need to do is walk away from this wicked world and seek his face. So for me anyway, brothers and sisters, if you are good at interpretation and you've got the gift of interpretations, please leave your comments. Yeah. And as I said, he said, when God says my people, he didn't say Esther. He said, my people, if my people seek my face, I will download from heaven. So let us come together as a community for Jesus Christ. Yeah. I've had this revelation and yes, I'm going to be seeking his face for him to tell me why, why are you showing me this? Yeah. I don't want to say the name because you know, do, 
you know, we have to speak in code or your videos gets taken down. But I'm speaking to people that will come across. I pray, I pray that God will, a dreamer like Joseph comes across this um, channel. Yeah, because God is communicating. Yeah, I just come as a prophetess to seek to whatever he shows me or tells me, I come to put it out. Yeah, and I pray every day that a, a dreamer, somebody that has interpretation of dreams, can come and, sit and write and say, this is what the Lord is saying. That said the Lord. But I'm going to seek his face and I'm going to ask him, what, what are you telling me about this platform, this sign that I saw? Um, so guys, this is what I saw. You know, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that I pray, I get so sensitive sometimes because it's bigger than me. It's bigger than me. And people just don't understand. It's bigger than me. Having a relationship with the Holy Spirit is bigger than me. And I pray that people understand and put your selfish ways to one side. God wants his children, just as the disciples work together. God wants that oneness. Yeah. God is not a God of competition. So when I see all these, um, you know, women of God want to be the best, man of God want to be the best. That's not of God. That's not of God, guys. God is love. God likes um, togetherness. It's not about one. If he can do it for Esther, he can do it for whoever. He's not a, a, a God of person. If he can do it for one, he can do it for another. Yeah. I don't know why Hannah just came into my spirit. Hannah couldn't have a baby. Yeah. Like that was how many years ago? Yeah. How many years ago was that? But the, look how many p women that testify that they couldn't have babies. Now they have babies. Yeah. Don't look on people and people's situation. If God can do it for one, God can do it for another. What am I saying? It's time to re reunite. It's time to come together as brothers and sisters. I don't care if I go on something and the Lord says to me, share it. And it was another, like, someone else's platform, but it's making common sense. And God knows that, oh, Esther, Esther can't download it. It's good. So then you share that. I share other people's um, information about the kingdom. Yeah. And then I tell them, I, I write down in the bottom and I say, look, I've shared your thing. And then they, they, they say, good. Yeah. Where is, we are here to win souls, nothing else. Jesus is not, he's not worried about your bickering and who didn't like you and who does like you and what's, he's not fashion, this, that. He's not worried about it. They're the cares. They, he doesn't even care about those things. He cares about one thing and one thing only, and that is your soul. Your soul. Jesus cares where your soul is going to end up on judgment day or when you close your eyes. Guys, the reason I, I, I don't even know why I'm going that far. Yeah. But what I do know is what he showed me is important because I Googled. Yeah. I went into prayer. i done everything I had to do. Then I Googled. Yeah. I Googled and I was like, wow, this is big. Why are you showing me this? Yeah. I pray. I really pray, Father, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus from the east, west, coast, north, from every corner of this earth. I'm not going to limit you, God. I'm not going to limit you, God. I don't want help from UK. I want help from all around the world. Your children that you've put for times and seasons, the people that know what's happening and they've woken up. I pray that this video gets to the right person, Lord. Please, I'm begging you, leave your comments in the description box. There is going to be a time when we cannot communicate like this and people don't understand. Yeah, I have friends that say to me, I'm, I'm a Christian, I'm a Christian. They don't have no evidence that Jesus, the Holy Spirit, has a relationship with them. Am I mocking them? No, I'm not mocking them. I'm not mocking them. But if you say that you are a child of God in these end times, we need to see evidently that the Lord is walking with you, whether it's your prayer life, whether it's your any gift that the Lord is giving you. It should be evidently for his kingdom. God is not playing. He wants his people. And you know what? I have to put this out there. 
Yeah, it's a season for for me. What God is doing for me is testimony. Yeah. So if you guys, because you always, guys, you always get the haters. You always get the he says, it. what's she doing? What's she doing? First of all, I would say to you that ask what's she doing? Go and have a relationship with the Lord and take it to the Lord in prayer. What is she doing? Because he will tell you better than what I'm doing. Yeah. It's a season for testimony. There's people out there. People are hurting. People are hurting. So the Lord will say to me, Esther, it is time. It is time for you to say what I've done, where I've picked you from, yeah? So guys, I'm not ashamed because I see people like, oh, they're walking away from me. They're thinking, they're labouring me. Oh, she's confused. She's this, she's that. I've gone cuckoo for Jesus, guys. I've gone cuckoo for Jesus. So whoever leaves, it was a day for them to leave. I'm not, I don't even take them things personal anymore. My focus is on Jesus. My focus is on Jesus. The Bible says your mother, your father, your children, your family will forsake you. But you know what? I, the Lord, I'm with you. Yeah. So for those that are like, what is she doing? Why is she putting a whole world out there? It's not for you guys that don't want to appreciate it. It's for that person that's hurting in wherever room or whatever that person's doing or whatever that person's forsaken and thinking it's all over. My life is for that person because God knows the times and the season, why he cleaned me up, why he gave me the voice at this time and this season. People are hurting. And if my testimony gives one person hope that you know what, if God can do it for this Adasa, God can do it for me. Yeah. People of God, I pray that you stop judging, you know, what things that you don't understand. I really pray that you do, because even in the Bible, there was a husband and wife that lied against the Holy Spirit. Something about the land. I don't even know when I when these things come to me. It's not me. God is putting the Holy Spirit puts me to remembrance. I'm not that. I keep telling people that if you know me, I am not that smart, like book smart. So evidently, it's the Holy Spirit that um, puts the word in me or gives me remembrance. As the Bible says, he, there's one that is coming that he, I, he will rem, rem, remind you of everything. Yeah. He puts us in remembrance. The Holy Spirit. Guys, as I was just saying, yeah, there was a woman and a man, husband and wife, lied that they sold the, their land or something or the other. They lied against the Holy Spirit. They died. Boom. Lying against the Holy Spirit. What am I saying? Stop talking about things like judging literally like if you're judging me and you're like oh what's she doing no, 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 no. you're not you're not taking up with god sees that you you are condemning the holy spirit i've said it guys i didn't just wake up one day and say oh let me just go and start telling my business let me just go and start doing this let me no 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 the holy spirit done a jonah on my life yeah god put me in the place where i've got your attention now yeah are you gonna still creep around and be that girl and end up in hell or are you gonna take up your mats and walk with me because i've got work for you and i woke up guys and i said i'm gonna do it and it wasn't a one day thing it wasn't a one day thing god was on me like jonah god was on me i'm not playing with you like you see like when if you've got a mum or dad when they tell you i'm not playing with you little girl it was that kind of discipline i'm not playing with you no more and the reason why God was not playing with me, because the souls that are connected to my assignment in this wicked world. Guys, I didn't even come on to go this far. I just pray. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that people will put away their wicked desires and just understand that it's about Jesus of Nazareth. It's about that cross. He died on the cross. What no man died on the cross for us all. Jesus died on the cross for us all. Because he wants his people. He wants us to make heaven. Um, guys, what I will leave with you. In the same scriptures. He said. It will be easier. The rich man. I think it was the rich man. Somebody asked him. I don't know. Because Jesus was always um, saying paramos. Yeah. But he said it will be easier for a camel. Guys, go and Google. Go and Google a camel. If you don't know what a camel looks like. Go and Google a camel to enter the kingdom of God than a human being. See, sometimes I analyze on that scripture and I think, wow. 
But then the reason why he said that, because he knew how selfish man's heart can be. Our desires of the flesh. That's why he said it will be easier for a camel to go in a pin, through a pin of a needle to enter the kingdom of God than a human being. Guys, get into your scriptures because I, I, I read scriptures and I'm like, wow, I get terrified. When, when I have the revelation, I get, I get terrified. You know, I'm not trying to put fear into you. Guys, Jesus Christ died for us. He wants his people. He wants us to repent. I pray that people repent. And I pray that in these wicked last days that we'll get closer to God than never before. You can go back on one of my videos on, on the prayer of salvation or with a repentance prayer. They're all there. I love you, my brothers and sisters. I love everybody on this um, um, that subscribed. You're my family. It's kingdom. And it's all about Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So, guys, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that you are covered in the precious blood of Jesus. Everybody under the sound of my voice. I pray for your families. I pray for your children. Father God, I pray for children. I pray for children, precious young children in schools, colleges, primary schools. I pray for children all the way, all around the world. I pray for your children, Lord God. Father, put your hand on your children in these end times. I pray for children to be covered in the precious blood of Jesus Christ of Yeshua. I cover this um, life in the blood of Jesus of Yeshua. I pray for the, the um, my YouTube and all those YouTubers, Lord, that are doing the will of God. I pray for your children, the ones that you've handpicked that are doing your will. I pray for them and cover them under the precious blood of Jesus Christ. It's about souls. It's about nothing else but souls for the kingdom of God. Jesus wants his children as it was in Moses' days, as it was in Noah's days. Let my people go. Um, I pray that those that have ears, let them hear. Guys, Noah sounded alarm. He got the boat ready and people were mocking him. And then look, was he a, a conspiracy theory? A lot of people died. A lot of people died. So once again, I'm not putting um, fear into anyone. Get into your scriptures, repent, get closer to God, because we are living in the last days. God bless you. I love you. Adasa. I love you. The Bible says that we do not have the spirit of fear. So this is not about fear. This is about love. He puts his um, children out to blow the trumpet because he loves you so much. Don't let anyone say, ah, oh, she's putting fear. No, Jesus Christ is a God of love and love only. So I love you, God, guys. Take care until the next time. I pray that... Um, somebody um, that the Lord will send a, a somebody that interpretates dreams so we can try and download what the Holy Spirit is trying to say. But I will go into prayer. But I thank you guys and I love you and God bless you. Adasa. Till the next time. Adasa. Thank you and God bless you for watching. Like and subscribe.